This is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Lenovo ThinkPad Yoga 260 laptop, and I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen assembly on the Lenovo Yoga 260 uh, laptop. Okay, so this is a touch screen laptop and it is used by schools and organizations and advantages it's small and portable and has a stylus. So it's out and about a lot and screens break a lot on this so we have a lot of interest in this video so that's why I'm making it. So um, the let's first go over the tools we're going to use. We have a PH1 electronics screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and one's the size. We have a smaller PH0 electronics screwdriver. Then we have a hobby knife or an X-Acto knife that's to lift up an adhes adhesive tape to pry things open. A pair of metal tweezers to remove any screws that may be stuck and to manipulate cables. And finally a metal spudger. Okay, the first thing we want to do with this type of laptop with a touch screen is to disconnect the battery. I strongly recommend disconnecting the battery even if it's internal for any touch screen laptops because uh, the touch screen part of the assembly is very sensitive to electrostatic discharge and the touch screen can be very easily disabled if the battery is not disconnected. So to disconnect the battery we go on the bottom and there is a uh, three six eight captive screws on the bottom I've already loosened up the captive screws to save some time and we want to pry off the bottom assembly and the best way I found to do that is just basically go around the edge and just lift it up with the metal spudger if you get stuck at a certain place just go to a different place and come back to it. Uh, I've taken this one apart before so it's going to be a little bit easier for me for this one but uh, it might be a little bit harder if it's taken apart for the first time. So all we want to do on the bottom is to disconnect the battery and here's the connector so we using our fingernails we slide the connector out and just uh, manipulate it so we can keep it outside so it doesn't make any sort of electrical contact with the connector. All right. Uh, after that, we just put the cover back on so that the electronics doesn't touch the tabletop. And then we open up the laptop. The procedure for this uh, laptop is a little bit different from most other laptops in that you don't snap the screen bezel off. There's a screw cover here, there's a cover assembly here that we need to remove first. And to do that, what we want to do is to remove the screw covers here and here. And you do that, you use the hobby knife or X Acto knife to lift those up. And uh, they're probably too big to put it on the side here, so I just put them in a pile over here, so making sure we don't lose them, so keep them together. Then we're exposed with two screws. We remove these two screws, and for each step, for each set of screws, I'll keep them in a separate pile so that I know which screws go where when I put the laptop back together. Next thing, we want to slap snap this plastic cover off and so there are several ways to do it so just kind of lift down and snap it off like that so we put that to the side once we snap this plastic cover off we see five more screws one two three four and five and we need to remove these five screws now so there's one, two, three, four, and five. 
Now, the way this screen assembly separates from the back of the screen, uh, the way the touch screen assembly separates from the remainder of the screen assembly, it's different. Uh, we don't snap it off like we usually do. What we do is you slide it down, so move it down. Let's see, the best way to do that is Okay, we're, let's try again. So we want to slide it down, there. So we want to slide it down, what you saw right here. And once you slide it down, and we disengage it. And I'm going to re-engage it again. There's some clips where you re-engage it. So we want to lay the assembly flat. And when we already put the new assembly, we slide it back up so it's properly engaged. And then we're going to do it again. We're going to slide it down, like you saw here. And then once we slide it down, then we can lay the assembly on the keyboard. So once we do that, there's two connectors we have to disconnect. And the first one is the screen connector. There's some adhesive tape here. We lift up the adhesive tape with a hobby knife, and then there's a metal bar. We lift up this metal bar, and then we push the connector back. We disengage the connector. I'm going to show you how to reconnect the connector. When you reconnect the connector, you slide it back in to make sure it's fully engaged. There's no gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection, and put this metal bar down like this. So I'm going to do it again and come back out again right here. Okay, so that's step one. Next step we want to do is there's the touch screen connector. And what we want to do with the touch screen connector is there's some adhesive tape here that we loosen up obviously. So we lift up this adhesive tape and then what we want to do is pull it What we want to do is, using the back of the cable, we pull this connector back. All right. Next, we got to disengage the cable assembly from the screen assembly itself. There's a slot that this connector goes through, so we unthread this connector through the slot, and this screen assembly is disengaged now. Okay, a few words about this screen assembly. The first one is sometimes it comes, this screen assembly comes with the connector and sometimes it doesn't. When we, I mean with the, with the board, uh, with the electronic board for the touch screen. When we sell this screen assembly, we usually try to have the, this uh, electronic board with it. If not, we would tell you. The other thing is there's two versions of this screen. So there's a HD screen, a WXGA screen, 1366 by 768. That's what this particular model is. And then there's the full HD version, that's 1980 by 1920 by 1080. And uh, we don't have that, but there, these assemblies are different. The connector is in a different place, so they're not interchangeable. So before you order the replacement part, make sure that make sure that you're either ordering the HD or the FHD version. And finally, the third thing I need to tell you is that the factory original version and the versions that we're trying to sell, it comes with a screen protector on top. Some aftermarket parts, and we've made this mistake before, some aftermarket assemblies do not come with a screen protector. So particularly, particularly if you're using these for a school as a school replacement, you need to make sure that the screen protector is on there. The reason is when these screens crack, there's some sharp glass particles and this screen protector protects the kids from that. The way to tell, the easiest way to tell is if you look at the camera hole assembly, you can kind of see where there's a plastic film. Let's see if we can get a good angle and a good focus. 
you can kind of see that there's a plastic film around there so the plastic film is not gonna quite line up with the opening and then you can see if there's nothing on top around the opening okay here's a good uh, focus you can see the plastic film if there's nothing there the plastic film is not there there are aftermarket screen protectors that you can buy and uh, if you do get one without the screen protector I strongly recommend to put the screen protector on okay uh, we sell both versions screen surgeon sells both versions of these assemblies the HD and the full HD uh, we will provide you with a screen protector and most likely depending on supply we will provide you with a circuit board for the touch part uh, to buy this assembly for uh, from us go to www.screensurgeons.com and um, there will be a short form for you to fill out and enter the part the model number that you're looking for and we can help you find the right part online otherwise if you're with a school uh, there's a link at the top of our page that says school and just and there's a form fill out and just let us know on the form which part you're looking for all right uh, when you do receive this screen assembly make sure that uh, the connector lines up in the same place as the original one if it's you didn't mistake it HD for full HD and vice versa double check that the screen protector is on and then reconnect it so the first step is to thread this uh, connector the screen connector through this opening over here and connect it there then put its screen assembly back up reconnect the connector to the circuit board to the touch screen and then after that having the screen a little bit lower slide it upwards so that it's properly engaged in the tabs up on top then put the five screws in on the bottom snap this plastic cover back on put the two screws back in on the plastic cover then put the covers in and after that go to the bottom and reconnect the battery and after that it should be working fine all right, uh, that's it. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much, and good luck.